Welcome to our tech support video. Today, we're tackling a question that many Elasticsearch users encounter, especially in restrictive environments. Our viewer is running Elasticsearch on a non-production RHEL 6 server and is facing some frustrating bootstrap checks. They ask, can they disable these checks to get Elasticsearch up and running without root access? Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's get on to the video. In Elasticsearch, bootstrap checks are designed to ensure that the system is configured correctly for production use. However, in your case, since you're on a non-production server and need a workaround, we can bypass these checks. To disable the bootstrap checks, you can modify the Elasticsearch configuration file. Locate the Elasticsearch.yml file, which is typically found in the config directory of your Elasticsearch installation. Open the Elasticsearch.yml file in a text editor and add the following line to disable the bootstrap checks. Bootstrap.systemCallFilter, false. This will allow Elasticsearch to start without performing these checks. After saving the changes, you can start Elasticsearch. Keep in mind that while this allows you to run Elasticsearch, it is important to address the underlying issues later for a stable production environment. Remember, Bypassing these checks is not recommended for production systems. Make sure to plan for increasing the system limits as soon as possible. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Yes, you can disable bootstrap checks in Elasticsearch 5.4. By setting the discovery type to single node, you can bypass these checks. However, keep in mind that this means you won't be able to test a cluster on your laptop. For more details, you can check the GitHub issue linked in the description. I hope that's found the resolution that you're looking for and you managed to work your way through your issue. Please, if it did help, hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next technical time you need help, have a good one.